Hi everybody, it's Mercy and I'm back again with another video. This one is on behalf of Janet, Nana JL54. Um, she is a stamping up rep and she is recovering from surgery and I had bought a paper trimmer from her and she hasn't been able to do a review of the new stamping up trimmer. Um, so she asked me if I could please do a review for her and I was more than happy to because I want Janet to get better really really fast because I can't wait until she comes back with more of her videos of her going junk in and everything else. So anyway here we go with the video. Um, when I first started out um, with scrapbooking the first one that I got was the craft the Cricut one because I had bought the Cricut machine so everything that I had was Cricut. Um, I didn't like this trimmer because of the arm. You have to lift up the arm in order to cut and the whole lifting up of the arm thing got very tedious to me because I would forget to lift up the arm and then when you try to put the paper in sometimes it will get jammed inside of this part here. So I don't like this trimmer and I bought another one. So then I came into the world of creative memories and I became a creative memories consultant in order to get the discount. Um, and I got their trimmer, of course, and I really liked their tr trimmer at the time. However, I noticed that once I started to use the blade and I cut anything that had glitter to it, even a little bit of glitter, the blade got dull really, really quick. And I didn't like that because I like to have the versatility of cutting all my different kinds of paper, regular cardstock, glitter paper, and any other things and not having to change the, the blade out every five minutes. So I didn't really like that one. So then I started with the Fiskars and the Fiskars one was very, very nice and I liked it a lot. However, the one thing that I found with it is whenever I tried to cut, a lot of the times it cut the paper at a slight diagonal. Um, at first, of course, I thought that it was an operator error, so I was the one making the mistake. Um, but I noticed that it happened a lot, even though I tried to make sure that it was touching the little lips here so the paper wasn't moving and everything else, it did cut a, a little bit of a diagonal. So I went ahead and I was looking, I was on the market to look for one. And then I noticed that Stampin' Up! was having a free shipping sale. So anything that you bought, you got free shipping on it. So I went ahead and I contacted Janet because I knew that she was a Stampin' Up! rep and um, I let her know that I wanted to order this from her. So here is the actual Stampin' Up! trimmer and it has some features that I think are really, really good. First of all is the fact that the grid on it is underneath of another coating. So I know that on a lot of other paper trimmers, the numbers end up coming off and they end up rubbing off and then you're not able to cut as accurately as before. On this one, however, the numbers are underneath the white, underneath a clear coat which is on top of the white. So you're not going to have that. Th those, those numbers are there to stay. Um, the next thing is that the trimmer itself opens up to over 14 and a half inches, which is really good if you're having a big, huge piece of paper. For instance, now that I'm cutting vital and stuff like that, it's really nice to go ahead and be able to put a nice, big, long piece of paper in and be able to cut the piece of paper that I want out. Um, another thing that they have is that the arm on it locks. So you put the arm here and you go ahead and you press this and it locks the arm. And that's really convenient because when you are packing up to go on a crop or if you're just even moving in inside your scrapbook room and you're going from one place to another, you are not going to like mistakenly jam this on somewhere and have the arm come completely off because it is locked. Um, the other thing which I really, really love about it, this is like one of the major selling points for me, is the fact that it not only has the actual cutting blade, it also has the scoring blade. And I really like that because that meant that I didn't have to pack up my Martha Stewart scoring pad plus my trimmer. And it also meant that if I wanted to score something really quick, I didn't have to go get my score pad, my Martha Stewart scoreboard, come back, score on it, and so on and so forth. Um, I also didn't have to worry about um, 
the score the bone folder cutting into the paper even though I was using the embossing one with the little balls on it but still this one is just much more convenient um, and then the last well no not the last feature because there's another feature Another feature that it has is the fact that it has storage in the back and this is an awesome feature because there is a lot of times when you go on a crop somewhere and all of a sudden your blade isn't working right whatever and you need to switch it out um, but then you don't have any blades there so here it has a little piece that just unclips and you can put extra blades in here, extra of the scoring blades and extra little doodads that you might want to put back there. So for instance, like extra brads that you use all the time if you're a person that uses brads all the time. Um, or just little tiny things, maybe like some pop dots or something that you might want to stick back there. It could be like your emergency reserve center or something. Next, and I think this was my favorite part. Um, when I go to cut, the way that I like to cut the majority of the time is I cut using the bottom. So I use the numbers that are down here to cut more, most of the time. Um, and since this one goes all the way up to six and a half inches or six and a quarter inches, um, it makes it a lot easier for me to cut because most of the times that's up to where I cut. So I can just go ahead and put the paper and then I can just adjust my paper to wherever and I don't have to start looking way up here. So I really like the fact that it has the grid down here and that this grid is exactly the same as that grid. Um, and then I'm not sure if I had already mentioned it in the video, um, but this not only does halves and quarters and eighths, but it also does sixteenths of an inch, which is really, really good, especially when you are trying to mat down your photos. Um, so those are the things that I really like about this trimmer. Um, if you are interested, I am going to go ahead and put Janet's information in the description box and you can always go over to her Stampin' Up! website and order from her. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and I really, really hope that Janet gets better soon so that way she can go out junkin'. Um, I would really like to go up to the swap shop again. I haven't gone for, I don't know, like a year. So it would be nice if all of us can go like Janet, Dale, um, Marlene and Anna and me if we could go up to the swap shop and go look at some nice little vintage goodies. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Please make sure that you rate and comment. I love to hear um, your comments and I do reply. Thanks. Have a good night. Bye.